Yeah, Jim and Tracy, Officer Julian Jones, he was also shot in all of this. We'll explain that in just a moment. It's unclear who shot him. It could have come from his gun or his partner's. That's what investigators are trying to determine. He is now the fifth Philadelphia police officer to be shot while on the job this year. So today was certainly a positive moment for the department to see him uh, in good shape and in good spirits, all things considered, emerging from Penn Presbyterian Medical Center. Recovering at home tonight, Philadelphia police officer Julian Jones received a warm send off from fellow officers and top brass across the department. I think it's helpful to see not only support from, from colleagues and uh, people from the community, but I think that's also helpful in healing. And it shows that we're, we're really resilient, not only as individuals, but as an organization. This incident uh, opened up his eyes. I opened up all our eyes. How things can escalate from zero to 100. So 5710 over for the police by radio. Fire! Big shot fired. It was last Tuesday when investigators tell us 35-year-old Officer Jones and his partner responded to a report of a man with a hammer and pickaxe in the basement of a row home on Overbrook Avenue. Just recently went through the CIT training, which is the officers take a week training program uh, with the use of the taser, try to notice uh, different mental health distress signs and everything like that. Uh, so he was fresh out of that training. Unfortunately, didn't work in this situation because he did tase the gentleman and he just got right back up. According to police, the man, 31-year-old Kofi Zima, rushed the officers and hit Officer Jones in the head with the hammer. That's when Officer Jones and his partner fired their guns, killing him. Officer Jones also got hit. Was this friendly fire? What was the bullet that we, hit his we leg? We haven't released that information yet. Obviously, the investigation is ongoing, but we'll, we'll know soon enough. Still, the hammer attack is concerning among officers who say this show of support is appreciated. How would you describe morale in the Philadelphia Police Department these days? Morale's tough. It's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's not even a tangible thing, you know what I mean? You can't like gauge morale. You can see certain things and certain signs, but uh, you know, me as a commander, I do my best to try to keep my morale high. And the captain tells me not only keeping the morale high among his officers and certainly making uh, Officer Jones feel like he went home with a, a solid send off, but also his partner who is now on administrative duty. He says that they are giving her the support she needs. As for Officer Jones, he is at home recovering with his fiance and three children. Reporting outside of police headquarters, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News. All right, Rosemary, thanks for that. Jim?